Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today I thought we'd continue the How to Script a Cafe refreshed version. Okay, so first things first is um, we're going to be doing some overhead ranks. And obviously, we have this cafe over here that we're going to be, you know, redoing throughout this throughout this series. But today is not the day that we're going to do that. We're going to be working over here with this model, which is our dummy. And we're going to basically design our overhead GUI. Now, it's simple. All you're going to need to get is a billboard GUI. Okay, I'm going to put this in the head for now. And then you want to put a frame in it and then we're going to do this size we want, we want to change the size and we're going to change the size to four zero one now basically this is what's going to happen so on your the scale will keep this the, the scale the same even if you go farther away Was that right? Four one. I think I did that wrong. No, that should work. I don't know why it's doing that. So billboard GY. That's because zero. Okay. For some reason that wasn't working so basically the scale part portion of this is just going to be very different so we want to change so your studs offset you want to put it up two studs from the head now basically what's going to do is it's going to keep that from getting bigger as you go farther away as you saw earlier now that we have this frame let's change the background transparency to one and now we're going to need two different things which are going to be two text labels and now these two text labels are going to be doing different things now let's just put this position at 0.5 just so that we could uh, resize this now we have different things now the text labels aren't working because we have them into now we want to change the text labels to to the one and then 0.5 Okay, now that we have that, text label, zero, oops, text label, text label, okay, so text label, one, zero, point five. What is wrong with this frame? Four one index behavior global. Something is very, 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 very wrong with this. Um Just name that as unknown name, background transparency as one. Excuse me, what is wrong with this in the frame? Zero. Four. Zero. One. One, one. Oh, that's why. Okay. We basically have this and the Adorni. Okay. Okay. Now I'm on the track. Okay. So your Adorni basically just going to do the same thing with this and then we'll see. We'll see later. Um, so we'll do this as unknown. Okay. Now we want to have both of these be text scaled. And then we're going to have these both be text color white. And then I'm going to use my favorite text, which is source sans bold. 
And we're going to name this one as player name. Player name. And then a player rank. Okay. We're going to name this right here as um, overhead. Rank over. Okay. Now we have both of these. We want to change that to background transparency also to be one. Now we're going to put this into our server script service. And now we just want to insert a script, put our over rank overhead in there. And my script is obviously already um, bigger for you guys so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now we for the rank overhead, we're going to change this to rank handler. Now we're just going to get jump right in here. So we're going to put this as game dot players dot player added. We're going to connect that to a function and it, the parameters are going to be player. Now the parameters are player so we can get the player because basically it's a game dot players dot local players we're getting the local player and since we're in a server script we can't do that and all this is handled through the server side so we could definitely get away with doing this also the exact same thing with a local script but we're using one server script just so that it could be you know a lot more cleaner and not unnecessary scripts now we're going to do if not player so if someone's joining and they're not a player we're going to do it then kick that player and we're going to tell them that there was an error loading your character please join again okay my recorder stopped recording for a second i know why because i accidentally used the hotkey okay so we're gonna go down the parameters so we're gonna go down the script now so next we want to define the local rank equals player get role and group and basically you're going to get your string of numbers in your group okay so basically this is going to get your role in the group so basically for me it's going to be chairman and now we're going to wait one second just so we can get the, the person's role and now we're going to do local qi equals script script dot rank overhead okay and then we're going to clone that so i have a whole entire script already written and i was going to just go ahead and copy and paste it in here but this is part of the learning process so you want to change the 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 parent to your player dot character and then the ui dot adorni to equal player dot character dot head okay now we do while not player dot character dot humanoid do wait end now we want to change the display distance type so we're going to do this as player character dot human humanoid dot display oops dot display distant distance type equals enum dot humanoid display distance type dot now we're going to do local frame equals ui dot frame local name equals ui dot player no frame dot player name local role equals frame dot player rank then name dot text equals player dot display name 
dot dot quotation marks parenthesis at and then dot dot colon no not colon dot dot player dot name dot dot quotation marks close the parenthesis we're going to do this as roll dot text equals rank now what we're going to what this is going to do is if the player does not exist we're going to kick the player then if it does exist we're going to get the rank get the role group then we're going to locate the ui we're going to change the put the parent to the character the your need to the character's head then while not so basically it's going to so it's going to do a while loop and if it's if it's not a player that character humanoid we're just going to wait for it to find and then we're going to end then if it's found we do player dot character humanoid dot display distance type and we're going to change that display distance type to not then we're going to locate the frame name and role then change the name to the player's display name and the player's username then we're going to change the, the their their role to the rank so when we join the game we should see that our rank handler is being copied over to the player's head and adorned to the player copied over to the character, adorned to the player's head, and all through that. So let's just hit the play button and see what comes out of it. And there we have it. The overhead rank GUI does work. We see our display name and our username and our roll above our head. Now this is what every single group uses. You can obviously go ahead and go about by customizing whatever you want with different icons behind the rank or you can separate the, the display name and the username but if you guys want me to do that i can do a separate video on that if not then whatever um thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys did enjoy it if you guys did please leave a like and subscribe and i'll hope to see you guys in the next video whenever i post it bye now Ooh.